All right, Shalom, Shalom. Before we begin this lesson, we want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakakodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone that rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered abroad. You know, Yahweh is the true name of our Heavenly Father, who this word we call God. And Yahweh Shai is the true name of our Lord and Savior, who this word we call Jesus by Hashem in the name, and Rakakodash and the Holy Spirit. You know, I got the beloved brother, the bar with me. And, you know, Lord willing, you know, we came through the spirit to make this edifying lesson, man. So, you know, I pray that this lesson is edifying. All right. You know, this uh, lesson is going to be, you know, an exhortation, you know, uh, encouraging brothers, you know, to, to continue to keep fighting. All right. To keep to keep keep continuing to endure in this truth. All right. Because, hey, uh, you know, right about now, you know, each and every brother. You know, we're being afflicted, all right? We're going through our different sufferings, all right? Uh, you know, some way, shape, or form, you know, brothers are, are, are suffering, you know? But this is just an exhortation, you know, and encourage brothers, you know, to keep fighting and to keep enduring in this truth. Cool. All right, you have something to open up with? Yep. Uh, I want to be first begin. Yeah. I want to first begin at the book of Matthew, chapter 24. I'll read it for you. All right. We're already there. This is Matthew chapter 24 and verse 13. But he had, but slacky, but he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Hey, he that, that he that shall endure to the end, the same, the same shall be saved, man. And that's beautiful words written in the scripture for us brothers. Because Romans chapter 15 verse 4 says the things that are written the fourth time are written for our learning, man. So we know that we, hey, the, hey, the, rest, the, the race has been already set before us. All we have to do is just continue and endure, man. Because we're going to be saved. We're going to receive the promises. All right, we're going to receive the kingdom, okay? Scripture say that he that overcometh all things, all right, um, shall inherit the earth, roughly paraphrasing. So all we have to do is just continue to endure in this thing, man. All right? Everything has been set before us, man. Everything. All we have to do is just do our part. Okay. Oh, this is 2 Timothy 4 and 7. I see going to start at 5. But watch thou in all things, endure afflictions, do the work of an evangelist, make full proof of thy ministry. All right. And a key word I want to uh, emphasize is the Lord says, uh, endure afflictions, right. you know, because hey, the Lord says, uh, Syrac 2 and 1, when you come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. That's right. So temptation is a part of this walk, man. That's right. All right. Uh, Matthew 7 and 13, enter ye in at the straight gate. That's All right. right. That straight going back into a level of difficulty. That's okay. Right. And everything that, that everything that you uh, involve yourself in, you know, is, is, is a struggle. It's a fight, man. You know, if, if you try to make it, um, you know, in, in, in the NFL, you know, you got to go through hard, uh, rigorous training. All right. You got to you got to um, lay your body down. OK, you got to you got to have a strict diet. And that's the same way with this truth. All right. You know, you, you, you got to um, you got to, um, you know, um, uh, what was that? Uh, pretty much, you know, cast off certain things in this truth, man. You know, uh, things that's not profitable for it for you. Right. All right, uh, verse six. For I am now ready to be offered, and the time of my departure is at hand. This is Apostle Paul before you know he was going back to the spiritual realm. All right, verse seven. I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Mm. All right, and like the brother said, you know, in, in the Book of Romans, Romans fifteen to four, the things that was written the fourth time, it was written for our learning. You know, so the same mindset that Apostle Paul had, and that's the same mindset that we got to have, you know, especially in these times that we're coming into, all right, because hey, some of us, you know, we might have to get put to death, all right? So, uh, some of us going to get casted into prison, all right? Some of us going to be martyrs in this truth, man. So, hey, you got to have that mindset of, um, I'm going to read that again, I have fought a good fight, I have finished my course, you know, finishing your course, man, mm -hmm. you know, and it says, I have kept the faith. Verse eight, henceforth, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, you know, and that's ultimately, you know, what, what, what we fighting for. All right. We fighting to be crowned by Yahweh Shai, man. All right. We not we not um, in this race, you know, just running for nothing, man. All right. We trying to be we trying to be saved. All right. We hoping that our family be saved. All right. We we, we hoping that uh, that we receive spiritual powers. We hoping that we be fed in these times of trouble, man. All right. But in order, you know, for all these blessings to come upon us, a hey, endurance. All right. And I'm um, going to finish off. You got it. 
which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day, and not to me only, but all those, I mean, all them also that love his appearing. All right, and who's who's the ones who's going to look for see how about Shemal Shah appearing? All right, that's the elect, man. All right, the rest of these people, they, 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 the scripture says they shall be weeping and gnashing at the teeth, man. That's right. you know? And beautiful thing, because you said the course, this is uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 24. Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize, so run that ye may obtain. So like the brother say, going back to that verse he was reading, hey, we want to uh, keep the faith, man. We want to finish our course. And that's the whole thing about this day, man. Being able to finish what we started, man. As many people that came into this truth, all right, but, you know, they stopped. But the thing is, we got to keep going, man. We have to finish what we began, man. And um, <clears throat> quick pre, uh, quick pre is 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 7. And it reads, Bear if all things, believe it all things, hope it all things, and endure it all things, man. So we got to endure all things. Like he said, uh, like the bros getting into, uh, Ecclesiasticus or Sirach chapter 2, verse 1. Um, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation, man. You're going to have to go through things. It's not going to be easy, but at the end of the day, you got to continue to fight, man. You got to continue to make your calling and election sure, man. Oh, you got something? Uh, mm -hmm. Quick one. Yep. Revelation chapter 2, verse uh, 26. And he that overcometh and keep my works unto the end, to him will I give him power over the nations. And that's what we're waiting for, man. See, how about Shema Shai giving us that power, man, for us to be rulers of this place, man? But it says that, it says that he that overcometh, man, and keepeth my works until the end. All right? This is not about what you have done today or what you have done yesterday. It's about what you do today. It's about what you do tomorrow. All right? It's about what you keep on doing for the Lord, man. Hey, the brother, the bro, uh, bro, beloved brother Gabar always say that, man. What have you done for me lately, man? And that's what your how about you, my shower requires of his men, man, for you to constantly be doing this work, man. Yep. Yep. This is uh, Philippians 3, and I'm sorry, 13. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind, you know, and just like, um, why did Lot's wife get destroyed? Because mm. hey, she looked back and then what happened to her? She got, um, she got burned. She got a uh, pillar of salt, man. That's right. All right. Um, keep reading on that. It says, and reaching forth unto those things which are before, you know, and that's what we have our mind on. All right. The, the, the future. All, all right. right. Hey, cause hey, this place is through, man. That's right. All right. And that's why, you know, it's important, you know, to, um, you know, to always, you know, be, um, um, judging yourself man right. examining examining yourself man Come. all right examine yourself whether you be in the faith man all right because hey, your spirit is not supposed to be uh of this world man right. all right our spirit is um is, is on our, our affections is on the thing that's above not the thing that's on this earth man all right because this earth is going to be destroyed you give me that pretty quick pretty for you Come. colossians Come. yep Yep. We're not, we not looking at uh, uh, our mindset. Our destination is the kingdom. Um, all right. Colossians chapter three, verse two, set your affections on things above, not on things on the earth. Right. Because the things on this earth is temporal, man. That's right. All right. The things that which we see are, are temporal. All right. But the things that which we don't see are eternal. That's you right. know, and that's what our affection should be on. All right, the kingdom of heaven, man. Mm -hmm. All right, being crowned by Yahweh Shai. All right, uh, the Lord, um, the promises that the Lord has for us, man. All right, the Lord says, um, I came to prepare a place for you, man. All right, and um, we keep reading on that. Philippians 3 and 14, I press towards the mark for the prize of the high calling of Yahweh and Mashiach Yahweh Shai. All right, I said, I said, I press towards the mark for the prize. And when you go into the blue letter and you look up this word mark, all right. Strong's G forty six forty nine, Skapas. Skapas. All right. It says the distant mark looked at the goal or end one has in view. The goal. All right. What's our goal? To be saved, man. To receive right. salvation. All right. For so for us to get beamed up into them chariots. 
all right looking down at, at america being destroyed man that's what our goal is on man you know and we got to keep our, our single man all right just like you know uh what what separates in the sports world what separates you know your the 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 greats you know from the average uh from from the average people the 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 um the athletes who can close at the end That's all right? right you know you look at uh michael jordan you look at kobe bryant you look at lebron james they they're separated from other basketball um from other greats because that they can close out the game, man. You know, and it, that's that's really what it comes down to endure to close. You know, it's not about um, it's not about you know um, it's not about it is about what you're doing now, but it's about in the times of trouble when you when you're going through those afflictions, when you get casted in a prison, are you gonna keep your integrity? All right, are you gonna um, are you gonna strive for the truth unto death, man? All right, and that's and that's what the Lord is going to do. He's going to test each and every individual on the earth, man. You know. Hey, that's beautiful that you say that because what is a coach? A coach expects his his top player to show up in the end times, the closing moments. And how about Shmuel Shah is, is 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 expecting us to show up for him, man? Yep, yep. So that was you know beautiful. Yep. Um, this is James chapter one. You had anything else? No, you're going This is James chapter 1, verse 12. Blessed is the man that endureth temptation. For when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord had promised to them that love them. So like the brothers say, so, you know, what are you going to do for say you do get tried and uh, for say you do get ca get cast into prison? Mm -hmm. All right, when, you're in, when your integrity is tried. Because, hey, us brothers that's pushing this word, that's calling on the names of how about small side, the Lord going to try us, man. So we need to fulfill our end of the deal, man. All right, we got to endure. We have to make sure that um, we keep the words of Yahweh by Shemel Shah. Because it says, when Yahweh Shah shall come on earth, shall he find faith, roughly paraphrasing. So it's up to us, brothers, to keep that faith, man. Because if it was up to everybody else in the world, you know, everybody else will, you know, will, will fall to Esau, eat him, man. Yep. Got it. Um, this is Hebrews 12. And I'm going to start at verse 1. Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doeth, which doeth so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. All right? Patience goes back into suffering, man. Right. You know? And, and the scripture says, you know, count the cost, man. Right. You know, you came into this truth. Hey, you you, you got to count the cost in this thing. You got to be be ready to lose certain things, man. Come All on. right. Be, be be ready to lose jobs. Be ready to lose relationships. Be ready to lose family family members, man. All right. The mm -hmm. Lord says the servant is not greater than his master, man. Yahweh Shai, he, he laid his life down for the nation of Israel, man. He went through sufferings, man. He went through uh pains, man. All right. Verse two, looking unto Yahweh Shai, the author and finisher of our faith. All right. And that's that's what we modeling after. We modeling after Yahweh Shai. All right. He he paved the way for us, man. That's right. All right. Um, finish off on that. It says for who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross. All right. That cross goes back into suffering, man. Yahweh Shai, he suffered on that cross, man. But guess what? Yahweh Shai, he kept his integrity, man. All right. He kept the faith. He kept uh, believing in his father, Yahweh. All right. It says despising the shame and and is set down at the right hand of the throne of Yahweh. You know, and that's where that's where Yahweh Shah is at. He's sitting on the right hand of, of Yahweh, man. You know, and that's where that's ultimately where where where, where um, that's ultimately what we looking for, man. All right, the Lord says if we reign with Him, I mean, if we suffer with Him, we you shall reign. We yeah. shall reign with Him. All right, right you know, you know, and that's what that's what we're looking for. We're looking to be joint heirs with Yahweh Shai, man. All right, right. the Lord says He's gonna fashion His body unlike unto our, unto our glorious body. You know, and um. Let me get that real quick because I roughly paraphrase it. All right, Romans 8 and 17. And if children then heirs, heirs of Yahweh, and joint heirs with with Amashiach, if so be that that we suffer with him, that we may also be glorified together. For I reckon that the suffering of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be re revealed in us, man. All right, because we're gonna be we're gonna be God's uh, we're gonna be we're going to be joint heirs with Yahweh Shah, man. Okay. All right? Uh, all the things that Yahweh Shah can do, hey, we're going to do, man. You right. know? But we're not going to be on the level of Yahweh Shah, but we're going to be just like him, man. Cool. You know? Yeah. 
Oh, let's jump on. And this is Hebrews chapter 3, verse 6. But the anointed as a son over his own house, whose house are we if we hold fast the confidence and the rejoicing of the hope form until the end? You see? So we got to hope until the end, man. We got to strive. And, you know, we have to strive in this truth. All right. Until the end comes, man. All right. Because that's all at the end of the day. That's what it's all about, man. All right, because hey, a lot of people can say that they're doing this or doing that. Hey, but when that time comes, hey, like King David say in, in the book of Psalms, if you can look that up for me, Bob Kashar says to try me in my integrity. That's what the that, that's what all, our King David said, man. For you, how about you shot to try to try him in his integrity? So the same for us, man. All right, we're hey, we're gonna have to earn our crown, man. We're going to have to earn to be joint heirs with Yahweh Shah. This is not something that's just going to be given, man. Anything that's uh, anything that's given easy in this world is not uh, worth having, man. Yep. So what you know what we're into right now, what Yahweh Shah, Shah, this race, this walk that we're in, we're going to have to earn it, man. We're going to have to go through trials and tribulations. And the big thing is enduring it, man. Yep. Enduring whatever we go through. Because the brother was in Hebrews, the 12th chapter, it says, who the Lord loveth, he chastised him, man. Mm -hmm. So our chastising is going to have to, it's going to have to go into enduring, man. You see, even, even in the times we're coming into, the times of Jacob's trouble, it may not be nice for brothers. Some may have to lay their life down for you. How about you, Masha? Some may have to go into prison. But you have to keep your integrity and endurance to the end. Whether it be in the face of the guillotine, whether it be in the face of these governors, all right, these, you know, these Edomites and high levels, you have to endure it to the end, man. And how about Shema Shah promise them, whoever endure it to the end, all right, uh, salvation, man, the kingdom of heaven. I got a quick one before I get there uh, in Psalms. This is Proverbs 24 and 10. If thou faint in the day of adversity, thy strength is small. Come on. You know, hey, and, 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 and if you fall out of this truth, all right, if, if you um, conform to Esau's new world order, all right, hey, you're going to be you're going to be utterly destroyed, man. You know, it says if thou faint in the day of adversity, thy strength is, is small. And what the Lord is doing right now, hey, he's um, he's giving us tests. So hey, he's giving us, you know, um, tests. All right. And ultimately what the Lord is doing now, he, he's um, he's building us up for the times of Jacob's trouble, man. Right. All right. And, and so, you know, just like if you in school and the teachers say hey, a test is coming up. The, the, te the teacher not gonna tell you the teacher what if the teacher tell you she not gonna tell you the day of the test but the but uh the teacher is saying you need to study you need to study you know that's ultimately you know what you how about Shamal Shah is doing for us man he's right. telling us that a time like number four is coming but right now what we doing we're studying for it all right the Lord is forming us so in a time a Jacob trouble where that test is gonna come come upon us Hey, we're we we're, we're gonna be we gonna be uh well prepared for it. All right, I don't want to rot this out, which means Lord willing. That's right. All right, and um, I got that for you. This Psalms 26 and 2. Examine me, O Yahweh, and prove me. Try my reins and my heart. Ooh, try my reins and my heart, man. Because right now, you know, ain't no ain't no pressure on us, man. Except for me, how about some outside? But ain't no pressure from us right now. But what about when they're when they're trying to demonize this faith, man? What about when they have you know our apostles and elders and other brothers face upon seeing that, man? Then what are you gonna do? Or when you turn the corner, people trying to persecute you, man? So we want you, how about some outside to try us, man, to see where our mind is really at because there's a lot of people right now, you know, talking to this good talk, but when that when that pressure is really applied, and hey, they gonna fall, man. All right, and this is James chapter 5, verse 10, and it reads, Take my brethren, the prophets who have spoken in the name of the Lord, for an example of suffering, affliction, and of patience, right? So, hey, there's an example right now showing to you, man. It says that we are a spectacle even unto the angels, hey, because we in these chains of darkness and we doing this work. All right, but to keep going on the point, and it says, Behold, we count them happy, which endure, you see? So you have Bashmal Shah counts them happy, which endure, man, because, hey, whether these people believe it or not, what we're doing is a, is a mighty work, man. We're doing a mighty work right now, man, especially in these chains of darkness, rehearsing the righteous acts, man, making our light shine before men. And it says, Ye have heard of the patience of Job and have seen the end of the Lord that the Lord is very pitiful 
end of tender mercy you see and it says you have seen the end of job all right when you go into the the story of job hey job was afflicted man he went through his trials and tribulations you know he, he lost his family lost his you know lost his land lost everything man but when you go into the latter end yeah how about gave him double man he gave him double and I believe if you want to go, I think that's Job 38. Yeah. Oh, you got I'm it? Yeah. So, and, but that's the point, man. And that, that's a beautiful, you know, and again, Romans 15 and 4, the things that are written a fourth time before our learning. So we have accounts of men that had to go through, hey, things far worse, man, than what we're going through right now. But it's it's to show you that it can be done. So whatever we, whatever any brother you know, whatever anything a brother's going to, going through, and you can, you know, you can, you can, you know, you can finish your walk, man. You can endure it. Yeah. And how about Shemosh has a promise for you at the end, man? Yep. Uh, this is uh, Job 42 and 10. And the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. Also, the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. Ooh. All right, because if you read Job, the, uh, I believe that's the first chapter. You know, Job, you know, he lost his family. He lost his, he lost his cattle. He lost mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. All right. But the Lord, uh, but Job kept his integrity. Mm -hmm. All right. And it says, I'll uh, keep reading verse 11. Then came there unto him, all his brethren and all his sisters and all they that had been of his acquaintance before and did eat bread with him in his house. And they bemoaned him and comforted him over all the evil that the Lord had brought upon them. Every man also gave him a piece of money and every one an earring of gold. So the Lord blessed the latter end of Job more than his beginning. For he had 14,000 sheep and 6,000 camel and a thousand yoke of oxen and a thousand she asses. Hey, but it said the Lord blessed the latter end of Job more than his beginning. Yep. So that's just to show you. And right now we may be in a, in an effed up condition. You know, we may not have all the shekels. We may not have money called, but you have about Shema Shah is gonna bless us in the latter end, man. Yep. Yep, yep, and that's a promise from Yahweh Shemal Shai. That's right. All right, the Lord says um, He's going to give us a hundredfold. That's right. You know, because each and every brother in this truth, we forsook, we we forsook this world, we forsook uh, certain things in this world, but the Lord, He going He going to uh, give us back plus more. All right, more than our hearts can desire, man. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and and you know that's that's why you know it's uh, we, we doing this exhortation, you know, to encourage brothers. You know to keep fighting and keep enduring in this truth man all mm -hmm. right just as well as us man right you know you got anything else That's so good. all right hey so lord willing the elect of the nation of israel was edified and we're going to close out by giving all praises honor and glory to our power yeah how show me how was shot by shimmer cock with dash double honors to our apostles and elders of great millstone and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect the hundred and forty four thousand men that are laboring in his work in all truth and in sincerity. We want to say shalom to you brothers. And also we want to say shalom to the rest of the elect, which consists of the men, women, and children that's believing and that's serving the Lord to the best of their ability. We want to say shalom at the water. Yahweh Hashem Shai for giving us the spirit to come together and make this lesson. Lord willing unto the next lesson, we're going to say shalom and a baba ball. Shalom a baba ball.